Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So before we get into today's video, I do want to introduce you guys to today's sponsor of the video, Book of the Month. I am so happy to be partnering with Book of the Month again. You guys know I absolutely love their subscription service. And for anybody who is new to my channel or maybe has no clue what Book of the Month is, let me explain it to you really quickly. Book of the Month is basically a monthly subscription box where you can pick any book that you want to read from the five to seven selections that they give for that month. So for example, the two books that they sent me for this month is Love on the Brain by Allie Hazelwood. I am so excited to read this one. I haven't even read Love Hypothesis yet, but I just know from the reviews that it's gonna be freaking amazing. And it's literally brand new. It's a hardcover book, so freaking nice, so cute. The other book that they sent me, they sent me The Attic Child by Lola Jane. I hope I said that last name right. <laughs> but yes, they sent me this one and the cover of this is just literally stunning. Like it is just, gorgeous. Book of the Month's biggest mission is to promote new and upcoming authors. So this is seriously a great way if you want to disperse your taste in books. Book of the Month is really the way to go. One of my favorite things about Book of the Month is unlike other subscription services where you have to pay every single month to get the subscription box, Book of the Month allows you to skip any month that you want. Say there's no selections that you like for that month and you want to skip, perfectly fine and you won't be charged, which is why I suggest you highly take advantage of it. New users who want to sign up get their first book for only $9.99 when you use the code leaves for the fall. So if you guys are interested in signing up for book of the month, follow the link in the description box below and use the code leaves at checkout to get your first book for $9.99. Thank you to book of the month for sponsoring today's video. Let's get on into today's video. This is going to be a fun one. Hi everybody. So as you can see from the title of today's video, I'm going to be doing another 24-hour readathon. Starting at 10 a.m. It is currently 9.45 a.m. I have about 15 minutes until I start, but I'm actually currently sitting in front of my computer because I have Reading Sprint Lives set up. M and I Perfect Paperbacks are doing a Reading Sprint Live for the 24-hour readathon, which I am so freaking excited about. This will be my first time doing a Reading Sprint with someone else, whereas I've always just kind of done them by myself, but I am so excited. Anyways, I do want to share with you guys my TBR that I'm going to be reading for this readathon, so... Okay, so the first book that I want to read for this readathon, I want to read Will Always Have Summer by Jenny Han. The third book in the Summer I Turned Pretty series It is the last book that I have to read, and I already feel like I'm going to be emotionally damaged by starting this off, but it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. The next book I want to read is The Perfect Marriage. This one, Murder Mystery, kind of a romance, sort of ish. Murder Mystery Romance. And the last book that I want to read for this readathon is Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Everyone's been raving about this, and I finally am so excited to get on the train to see what the big hype is about. So that's the plan. These are the three books I'm gonna be reading for this readathon. Okay, I'm gonna hop into the studio really quickly for live streaming and I will probably talk to you guys a little later when we're live streaming so yeah you see her walking down the boulevard she got the posture of a superstar she looks so fly in those Gucci slides yeah yeah I wonder what she hides under her disguise yeah 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 and all the girls around the What's on the show? What's under the subtle smile? We'll never know. She's a Mona Lisa. Yeah. Everyone's lining up to see her. Yeah. There must be something about her features. You'll find her beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. Let me paint a picture. I see they don't understand. Feeling like Picasso. She brushing against my hands. Seeing you from around the way, you can give me the time of day. You be making moves that like, yeah, who really care what Simon say? All the bad things, girl, I had to look past that. Call yourself a dime, I'm just trying to get my cash back. You be looking fine, so no wonder they can't match that. Louis V scar for I'm chilling with a dad. Hat. Whoa, slow it down like that. Just hold me down like that. Hello everyone. It is literally so much time later. I fell asleep earlier right after the reading sprints. 
I watched a little bit of TV just because I wanted a break from reading because I don't want to burn myself out quite yet too early on into this readathon. I ended up falling asleep for longer than I intended to. So it is now nine o'clock at night. I haven't finished We'll Always Have Summer, but I'm not worried about it because it's such a short book that I know I'm gonna finish it. So my family is currently outside right now lighting off fireworks. Um, I really enjoyed doing the reading sprints earlier today. I have not done reading sprints in a very long time and I'm very excited to be bringing them back to my channel. Anyways, I think I am going to take a blanket outside and then I'm going to bring my book outside and read while I'm out there. Uh, while I hang out with my family because I want to spend some family time with them. But after I finish We'll Always Have Summer, I'm going to start reading the perfect marriage i'm so excited about this one i'm not gonna lie but i'm really hoping that it's not gonna let me down i've heard good things about it so i have high hopes but i almost don't want to have high hopes because i don't want to like disappoint myself i think i also might change into sweatpants and a long sleeve shirt just because it is kind of cold outside okay i think i might go with this white quarter zip and then gray sweatpants because it's so cold it's so cold out here or can i just not regulate my body temperature okay here's a fit little quarter zip is from target sweatpants i have no clue where they're from i got them years ago oh so mean look at luna hi baby you're so cute. <laughs> anyway, sidetracking. Literally 1.40 in the morning. It's cuckoo crazy hours for my brain. I am gonna start the next book in my challenge, The Perfect Marriage, and I'm gonna finish it tomorrow, and then I'm gonna start Malibu Rising tomorrow as well. I probably won't finish it, but we're gonna attempt to, we're gonna try to. I, <laughs> I just feel so bad. I feel like my last couple of attempts at a 24 hour readathon have been total and utter disasters my 24-hour readathons are the ones that you guys recommend all the time and i feel bad because i i lately just can't get through them and it's because of my sleep schedule so it sucks it really really sucks because i love doing them and you guys love watching them and i really want to do more of them so i don't know we'll we'll figure it out so hopefully this works hopefully this is entertaining. If it's not, I'm so sorry. Anyways, we're we're gonna start this. I'm actually really nervous to start this one. I'm really hoping it's good. So, let's go. You are my own hell. I won't let you out my sight. Cause then I would have no light. And someone else would find your beauty new in mind I, 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 I toes nose down Cause I have found that I am walking up in mine Being yours and being mine I think that you no Alcoholic, I keep trying to be one Cause it seems fun when you're falling down Spin it all around But I keep rediscovering My awful tolerance for that grain And with you it's the same, I can't help it Oh so baby, don't you haunt me let me know the pain Don't you let Oh, don't you let me go Your baby Don't you haunt me Oh, if you want me Let me know the pain Don't you let Oh, don't you let me go 
so fast. This boy. Oh my god. I'm five chapters in. And Adam is a piece of shit. Um, what the fuck? Date. I made it to page 106 in my book and things are getting pretty pretty intense to say the least. Um, I have my suspicions about who killed Sully. Sully? Sully? Wow. I... <laughs> Brain's not working. I have my thoughts on who I think killed Kelly Summers. Um, I don't know. Her husband, Scott, is looking pretty suspicious to me, especially considering that, um, he is not a great guy, and he also has the whole power aspect of being literally a cop in this situation, so, I don't know. He is definitely very high up on my suspect list, um, but... Also, Sheriff Stevens is a little suspicious to me just because I think it's really weird how he's like borderline kind of being unprofessional with Sarah given everything that's been happening. Um, and also he just, I don't know, I feel like there's just something fishy and something off about him that isn't sitting right with me. I'm just keeping an eye on it, but uh, yeah. That's so far what's happening in my book, but I figured I would just hop in and let you guys know my thoughts on this book so far. So far, I really like it. Um, I am very curious to see where this goes because I'm only 100 pages in and it's uh, very interesting. Very, very interesting. I like it so far, that's for sure. I'll keep you guys updated when I know more. Lives her 
Okay, I just made it to page 120 and I am reading the part where they're talking about all the evidence and how there are three sets of DNA. So there is DNA from Adam, from Scott, and then from <laughs> an odd third man. And I'm not gonna lie, even in this book by Luna, um, even in this book, um, when Anne and Sarah talk about Sheriff Stevens, even they are kind of like a bit suspicious about him. I'm gonna read this passage that like kind of points out what I'm seeing. It goes, what do you mean you never know about his police work? Does it seem off? Anne always picks up on the, on the littlest things I say. It's always, it's why she's so great as my assistant. I don't know. He just seems a bit overly friendly. Overly friendly? I don't know how to explain it. He just seems like he's more interested in this case than he should be. Which I agree with because uh, the way that Sheriff Stevens acted towards Adam when they first arrested him for Kelly Summers' murder, he was like, screw you, you suck. And then now all of a sudden he's like, I don't think you did it. And like he's taking Sarah's side. I don't know. It's just odd to me but then at the same time the fact that scott got kelly off on the previous thing that happened is um also like a red flag to me so i don't know i think okay i'm gonna make a guess right now i think that scott had sheriff stevens kill kelly that's what i think happened because Sheriff Stevens just seems way too invested, but then at the same time, the husband doing it just seems too obvious. Also, considering that he's a cop, I feel like he would be like, I can't get caught for this. They would know it would be me, like, right away. I don't know. Maybe I'm probably wrong, but I wanted to make my guess here because I... Oh, it's bothering me. I just, I need to know. I need to know. Hi, pretty girl. You say hi to everyone. You say hi. Hi, pretty girl. She's dead ass. She's been chilling with me while I've been reading this whole entire time. She's so tired. Nene, Luna. Okay, let's read a little bit more. I don't update you guys when I have more thoughts. <laughs> Um, fuck Adam's mom. He, oof, what the fuck? Ma, Godzilla mother-in-law. So, Adam's mother went to go visit him as he's in the fucking jail cell. And she goes, it doesn't matter. I'm going to get you the best defense attorney. She nods as she speaks. And then Adam goes, I already have one. Who? Sarah. Mother has never treated her fairly. No matter what Sarah did, she could never live up to my mother's expectations of success because of their versions of success never aligned. Sarah, she's the one that got you into this mess. How the fuck did Miss Sarah Morgan, who is minding her goddamn business, being a girl boss, making that defense attorney money, how is it her fault that your piece of shit son cheated on her and then maybe killed his mistress girlfriend no no take a step back no i don't think so we're not gonna do that <laughs> mm. 
Ugh, I can't. This bitch literally goes. Officially charged, I question. Sarah nods. This is ridiculous, Sarah. My mother stands from her chair. You need to fix it. She points at my wife. Bitch, she doesn't have to fix shit. <laughs> what the fuck? I read a little bit more. I'm now on page 152. I think I'm almost like just shy of halfway through this book. You guys are also propped up on like Luna's butt, so that's great. We are 44% of the way through the perfect marriage. I don't know how to feel thus far, to be quite honest. I I really like the book. I'm not gonna lie. The book is very, very good. It's keeping me on my toes, keeping me reading which is like the main thing that I look for in a book. Like if it keeps me reading, and keeps me wanting to turn the page and find out what happens next, it's at least a four star read. It also really reminds me of the show, How to Get Away with Murder. Like Annalisa Keating, Keating, Keating? I think that's how you say her name, Annalisa Keating. She defends her husband when he is accused of murder and sarah morgan's husband is accused of murder so if you guys are fans of how to get away with murder i really think that you would like the perfect marriage because it's practically it's it's just it has the same vibe so also i'm rating so much in this book whenever adam's mom pops up in the story she just bothers me so much she is such a bitch <laughs> and she has a lot of toxic like masculinity inside of her and just like toxic masculine ideas regarding women with how like the whole like oh if you had done your womanly duties or like your wifely duties better he wouldn't have cheated on you like that is such bullshit like girl shut up shut up we get it you're in love with your son gross Ugh. anyways i figured i'd just give you guys the update um i'm gonna continue reading literally on trial for murder and he's more focused on how his story of being on trial for murder and being wrongfully accused of murder and i'm using quotations because i don't know the answer yet he's already looking at it as a cash grab like he literally goes the phone clicks and i hang up the receiver sitting there in a daze for a moment holy shit all my dreams are finally going to come true why are you worried about your next book pitch when you're on trial for murder wrong priorities there sir i am actually genuinely so fucking confused with sheriff steven's behavior because sarah just had to go to his office and like literally barge into his like office and be like why aren't you doing your job why aren't you like investigating this and he was all like, oh, I want to help you with the trial. Like, oh, I'll be there for you professionally or not. And then now he's like avoiding her. Mm, 
that puts Sheriff Stevens high up on my list of suspects because that's just sus behavior, okay? That is just... Tiny update. I got goldfish to tie me over because my stomach is kind of starting to get a little hungry. So I got that. I switched out my SD drive because my other one just completely filled up. I have now charged my camera battery twice now so we've gone through almost two full batteries luna is being mischievous as ever but yeah that's really all that's going on right now um uh, i'm not gonna lie i'm getting kind of tired try and get through this a little more and see how i feel and then i think i might crack one of the energy drinks maybe i might also just go to sleep after i finish this book because we're pretty much just supposed to be sitting out today and tanning. Don't want to fall asleep outside when I'm tanning and get a sunburn. So, um, I don't know. We might we might take a little nap. We might take Luna. I don't trust you up there. Um, but no. Stop it. Get down. Why well, you got to knock shit over? Go ahead, Luna. Show them what you do. See, now you're not gonna, oh, what is wrong with you? Oh. <laughs> she I'm gonna read now, like actually read, so. Bro. <laughs> not Adam's mom getting him Lunchable string cheese, Gosher's and Go-Gurt. He's like in his 30s. <laughs> But I mean, gushers are really good. Don't blame me there. He takes a bite out of the string cheese. Ew. I have... I have a suspicion that it might be... Deputy Marcus Hudson. Because in this last sentence of this chapter, it talks about how... Kelly was possibly trying to keep this third person a secret from everybody. So, I think it might be Marcus Hudson only because the only reason I can see why she would want to keep it a complete secret is because he's her husband's best friend and partner where they work. So, it's the only thing I can think of, maybe, but... Okay. <laughs> I just got to a really interesting part in my book. I'm on page two t 222, funny of all, because that's my angel number. But, oh my god, I think I just connected the dots. I might, but I'm also really confused still. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Ah. Uh. Oh no. Whoever gave Sarah the copies of the case files to give to Adam has the same handwriting as the person who left the end it or I will note on the back of a picture of Adam and Kelly. What if it's Anne? I think it's Bob. I think it's Bob. I'm at page 248 right now and Oh my god, a whole bunch of shit just went down. I don't think Adam did it. I mean, I haven't thought that Adam has done it this whole entire time. To be quite honest, I think it's either Sheriff Stevens or Deputy Marcus Hudson, to be quite honest. I think it's either of those two. Oh my god, I'm like actually having trouble staying up now. I could just like no I can't sleep bro no Luna do you want to cuddle 
Hi, baby. Do you want to cuddle? I want to cuddle. Also, if I see a single comment about the fact that I have under eye bags as big as fucking Texas, I'm gonna riot. Okay? I'm gonna riot. I'm doing a 24 hour readathon because you guys recommended it and you guys wanted to see it. So if I see one comment about the fact that I'm ruining my sleep schedule or something about my under eye bags, I will riot. Okay, I'm gonna go read now. Bye. <laughs> keeps going like I don't deserve this I don't deserve this I don't deserve this and now I'm like towards the end of the book and he's like at least this part I do deserve bitch are we just gonna skip over the whole fact that you cheated on your wife and now you're getting mad at her for doing her job and defending your ass when she really doesn't have to boy what Anyways, little update. I am 300 pages into the book. There are 334 pages in the book, so I am so close to finishing this book. So I'm just going to let the camera run, and we're going to see where this book takes us for the last 30 or so pages, because I feel like it's about to get crazy, <laughs> and I want to catch all that I can on this. Seriously gonna wait for us to find out who the killer is until the last page, bruh.
<laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I was right about one thing, but I... Oh. I was right about one thing. Not who killed her, but I was right about one thing. Oh my god. Do I get like a medal for that? I feel like I should get a medal for that. Oh my god, no! That is so fucked up. What the fuck? Okay. Wow. Um, I just finished The Perfect Marriage by Geneva Rose. Um, I was and I wasn't expecting that ending. I'm a little disappointed by the ending because who she ended up picking as the killer is kind of like, in my opinion, like, not that surprising. Like, I feel like... I don't know, it's just meh, but the ending of it all, how it all came together? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What, what the actual fuck, okay? I don't know what I'm gonna rate this book, to be quite honest. I kind of want to rate it four stars. I think I'm gonna rate it four stars. Three stars? Three and a half? No, I think four accurately does it. What the fuck? God. Oh my, oh. I don't know how to feel about that book. Like, I know I gave it four stars. Obviously, like, that says enough about the book as is, is me giving it four stars. But, like, overall, and all, if I had to put it into words, I couldn't put it into words for you guys right now. Like, I am I'm just absolutely flabbergasted. What the fuck did I just read? So take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors. Pay for everything on my plate. Sometimes I'd even get the steak. I got it like that, always in my own bag, never needed no man to rely on, got two good shoulders to cry.